Yep, so they're on the hunt for GH. There they go with the Fade Bolt. Disruption holds back the PA. Kuro and Mike are trying to head over, but GH is getting low. Another dagger flies across. Puppy looking for the blast. GH will get clipped by it. Secret get first blood, taking down the Shadow Demon. See if Nigma can get anything in return. They're trying to look towards Yapsor, but Matu is able to cover cover in, make sure that they cannot get round into towards the Rubik, and now they can actually turn Secret and try and punch back a second time into Nigma. Refill the mana of Matumba Man as he jumps in. A second down on this bottom. Slowing the cooldown, removing the cooldown on Stifling Dagger or on the Fade Vault. Also, Fade Vault in the triple lane is so effective. Oh, and this all control. They're just starting to handle them down. Wait, you Will know the... he is? All right. I'm sure he is. He always is. It doesn't miss a game. But yeah, Zai with this incredible Necro Book timing. And as I say, you know, sure, Miracle can sort of say, hey, I don't want to play the lane. I can head to the jungle. But Zai's going to put some pressure onto that tower. Kuro, he's back to business. Did manage to snipe himself another courier. Was able to find Matumba Mans. Bottom lane, Nisha has come in with this rotation. Weeha's getting low. Nisha's still got the Sonic Wave. But oh, Weeha, oh, oh, he does get it out. He does go down, though. The mids trade their lives one for one. I of course, we are the first to fall. So if they can get Matu, Matu's getting low. I mean, it's all brawl here, Secret. So the timer is ticking for Miracle to, to try and get these first key items done before Secret's taken too much of the map away from Team Nygma. Zai, go for the easy roar onto the SD, he doesn't want to let GH get out of that. Oh, he is in trouble. If Queen of Pain has another blink, he has it's enough up. mana with the wand for a full combo. If they, they can are find hiding him. in the trees, he turns, nice. drops the combo, Kuro, Kuro instead. Yeah, it's got to get a little bit of revenge as Kuro. For 12 minutes and 30 seconds by Zai this game. And there we are, they're going to jump forward onto Wheat. He shows, trying to clear out some of the wave, but the pullbacks there are with the... Uh, uh, the Wisp, we do have a defensive disruption, but it's not going to save him. It's a quick and easy jump on the SF in the mid lane for Secret. And they can begin to get the push on once more with that level 3 Necro onto the tier 1 tower. They'll take it. Mind control. Pop the, the Primal split. split. Wants to try and look for Zai. Zai getting lower. Blinding Light knocking the back. Zai turns with the roar onto the Earth Panda to make sure there's no follow-up stun. Miracle is going to have to commit Born the song for the further control. It has allowed him to get on top of Zai. They should be able to get this Beastmaster. But no! Yapsor indeed. He's got the song himself. He puts a stop to what seemed to be a free kill onto Zai. As Zai's given the space to walk out of there. It's a disaster for Nick in the middle lane as indeed Yapsor's positioning and ready to turn things around Nigma over committing believing in the setup oh, of the he's song die it again. didn't work out he's got the setup there but they've got the disable he gets lifted up can he get the fear off he will be able to but he's falling low turns with a raise Matu jumps in Nisha's gonna have another screen there burst him down Matu now they have only one observer board on the map which is not oh, showing anything Gonna go for the roar. Was trying to take away that bounce room, but Mind Control is actually still able to pick it up after all. Back to the mid lane. They've taken down We Are One Spot, and now they're gonna try and start moving towards Miracle. Miracle turning, but again, this Hawk from Zai giving them full vision of the entirety of Nigma's lineup. They'll turn with the dagger onto Mind Control. He's forced to primal split. He really wants to try and make something happen with as he turns towards Puppy. Puppy has been ensnared. Puppy giving himself more mana to make sure he has another blinding light to knock them back, but he will still fall. They'll get the keeper of the light. The primal split now starting to come to an end, he'll throw up the Nisha yeah, Queen of Pain once split. more, but they're going to be able to blink forward and chase this if they want. Matu jumps over towards Kuro, the dust is out, they see the bounty under Sonic Wave, pushes back Mind Control, the Beastmaster and the bounty taken out. Yapso again, these steals, his every single team fight, we're seeing these massive ultimates being taken by Yapso, that Assault Karas. So when that's done, you add that into the mix, these buildings are going to fall in second. Push may respawn in 35 seconds. Nigma knows something is up, and they're gonna smoke. Now, already got mind control. Starting to jump onto Puppy. And uh, with Miracle having the wrap round, they should have a good shot at taking down this Keeper of the Light. Puppy does knock them back with the Brown of Blinding Light and has dropped the Will of the Wisp, but in come the Raises. And Puppy is one raise away from falling. It's not even needed. Miracle will be able to take him out with the right clicks. They get the kill. Puppy buys back immediately. At the same time, they got to the back lines. They were able to take out Karoma's spots. Raw. Puppy's out. Zai. It's going to be able to turn, throw the axes out, trying to clear out the Primal Split from Mind Control. And the Mind Control Primal Split, it's dying. He is going to die through the Primal Split. The Sonic Wave knocking back Miracle. We are just melts in the pit. It's a double buyback for Nigma. Miracle's in trouble. He's silenced, lifted up by the Telekinesis. He will fall. No buyback available for the Naga Siren. So despite the two buybacks from Nigma, it's still going to be very hard for them to do anything because Miracle is dead for 40. GH is going to try for the TP out. They got the damage. They do. Matu's able to jump in. Secret, they're just jumping into the base right now. They're so far ahead. 
They have very little to fear from Nigma's lineup with the lead that they've amassed here in this 20 Jamal BKB, 2700 gold as well in his pocket. That's a lot they've of items these that you just said. Yeah. And we are, he pops the BK. They were trying to go for some song into a Requiem, but we are, he just died in a couple of crits from the PA. Now I changed my mind. <laughs> it's been a rough one. He did get the couriers though. We did see a few couriers die at the beginning. But other than that, oh no, there he goes again. We are popped in a couple of hits. Off he goes. He's dead. Nisha sets up with the Sonic Wave on Miracle. Miracle is able to pop out with the map. 28k lead, 27 to 6. Maybe Nigma's going to have a better time in game two. This game one, it was. Just the harass trading with Miracle, despite Miracle having the Fury swipes. Miracle's going to try and commit here, jumping forward with the Earth Shock. Roll forward from GH. He's able to find the slow on to Matu. Matu needs help. The Fisher is out. Matu, he's going to live. Yep. Eventually, but if he can secure the lane for his Lycan, that's pretty big. Oh, so, Nisha with the sneaky setup for the trees, ready to zip in. Mind control buys a little bit of time for himself with the Decrepify, but he... Magic resistance from strength anymore. That's also a turner. Tenton onto Puppy. Puppy, they will get Reaper. They'll get the Oracle. So there's a support down. Nisha's able to zip in and take out GH, though, before he TPs away. Kuro also potentially in trouble. Yep, so it hasn't got to play their strengths here. Both Weehar and Mind Control are strong. A secret, they're going to move in. On to Mind Control. Mind Control tries to sell to Crepify, but he just gets popped through that as we are also blocked off by Zai with the Ghost Shroud and the one charges. He is back up to full. Kuro charging in onto Puppy. Puppy being the focus. Puppy able to fade Seedict himself as Nigma cannot dive any deeper for the Oracle. They do indeed mid lane. Yep, so. Oh, get this kill here. He tried to stop them with the Fisher, but with the fourth, then they'll kill off the Shaker. So... On mid. Enigma still playing around with Secret despite. And all that ended up was giving Nisha another kill. He's 2 0 2. The DD room will get denied. Matu trying to chase him with the ultimate. Zai cutting across, able to slow down Weeha with the Shaker and the root from Puppy, holding him within it. Weeha will fall. TP's coming. He's a cut. He'll drop down the ward. Roll four from GH. Drops the art onto Nisha. Nisha getting low. Fate C Dix will protect him from some of the magical damage. He tries to turn and punch back. Kuro continuing to persist and stay on top of the storm, but he's taking too much damage. The Spirit Breaker goes down. GH gets cut across as well by Zai, moving in with a cheeky Ironwood Tree play there to set up the timber chain. It's the best. Chris Cause here, 12 minutes in. It's a big worry already for Nigba's mid lane. GH is, tries to roll away. Yaps up. But he'll be able to run his way away from Weehar. Turns over towards Kuroki. Kuroki being healed up by Mind Control. The Necro books, though, just doing so much damage. They have to decrepify. Mind Control tries to keep him safe. The puppy steps up with the Purifying Flames. Nukes down Kuro. Over to Miracle they go. Miracle popping the ult. Retreating as well. As Matu continues to just micro his army. That is messing with Nigma so much. Weehar is now out of mana. They do get the Earth Spirit ult off, turning to more Japs off, but the fish is out. Miracle dies, he has no ult to rely on. We are continuing to just get beaten down by Matu's summons as Matu's micro oh just God, destroys Nigma. GH is trying to escape, but you cannot run. Matu comes over with those level 3 Necros as GH will almost certainly fall as well. Matu dominates. 100 gold in the bank. They're going to try and go on Matu. They do manage to find him. Nisha's able to zip across in time. Matu getting low. They've got the Reaper's side. They'll finish him off. It's a big kill for Nigma. They do get the Nigma from the sidelines. The board is down, so he does have to respect that a little bit. Miracle stepping away from his team. He's getting bursted. Has the ult. Turns over towards them. Puppy still has false promise available to save whoever gets gone upon. GH is in trouble. They'll zip forth. The Fisher clipping Miracle. GH taken out by Nisha. Over towards Miracle they go. He's got no ult to rely on. Nisha gets the double kill. Over towards Weeha they go. They may have killed Matu, but they're paying big time with two heroes down. Yapsil drops a slam. Triple kill for Nisha. The buyback comes out from Kuro. Zai starting to disengage. The mana is low on Secret. Lock them off at Fisher. That's He's, it. I mean... I, you, you've got to look at this. Look at this. Yapsaw Shaker's KDA. He's 1 1 and 17. This is a man who was level 1 at 6 minutes and he's been involved in 18 of the 19 kills that Secret have had. The, the amount of moves and involvement that he's had has been insane to start this game off. Bottom, Puppy will be found. There's a three man Fisher again from Yapsaw. They try and move in onto Matu. Matu stepping back with the ult. Can they actually do anything in it? But they've got five heroes. They've killed off Oracle.
Can they get anything else out of this? Kuro charging onto Matu. It's underneath the tower, though. Nisha's able to zip across, pull Kuro back into tower range. Kuro will fall. Him. That miracle. Can he burst him? That's the question before Miracle get the, get the ult off. He's going to try. He pulls him in. Miracle's low. Does get kicked back. The silence was there from the yeah, earthquake to stop the Fisher, and they are able to turn. They get Nisha. Very, very... Dagger. 18 minutes in. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, certainly not been disappointing on his shaker performance this half in a way that he can keep his heroes alive. They do a lot of damage on Secret. They're going to need a lot of sustain. Eyes onto Weeha. Matu's in with the chase. There's the block from Yapsor. Drops down the Fisher. Weeha's able to get the Ghost Shroud out. He'll back up with the Dispels there. Takes it off. Weeha's falling low. Kuro tries to help, but there's no saving the Weeha Necrofoss as he falls yet again. Kuro also to go down. Zip across for Nisha. He's still got mana to play with as GH also caught. In fact, he's just trolling. He understands the position he is in right now. No, no, no. This is some, you know, sort this of is it, huh? five head play. As we are, Fisher's out. Kuro's gonna try and charge across, get them off it. But there's Yapso in with the three man slam. Keeping his game as beautiful as ever. Another beautiful jump and mind control. He'll try and drain Puppy, but Puppy's able to put a stop to it with a fate seedic. Fisher's out once more. Mind control. He'll fall. There's four dead on Nigma. GH Make is also at that team. Good for them. Also, this was a fight with. Storm Spirit, who just oh, finished Kuro. the Blood Zone with Arcane Rune. That's how you farm Battle Fury. You try to kill. I mean, as you say, how much, how much money has he got to go to farm the Battle Fury? Let's let's look at the positives. He's 400, 580 gold closer towards the Battle Fury. Oh, he's dead again. Okay. All right. He's 500 gold towards the Battle Fury. Mind Control is dead. Nisha is going to live. We are gonna, he's gonna die. Get the kill. Oh, he's turned. Oh, eight, hit. oh, eight, there we go. Oh no, <laughs> that's just styling. Oh no. oh no. And when he's dying, he's losing money when he dies. Wow. Well, I, I think it just broke the game, Owen. Whoa! This is a comeback, Lacoste. What the hell? I um, mean, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not a comeback. Just kidding. Just kidding. It's not. There's no comeback to be had here. I mean, it, it is not. time to call it's it. Not. Just charge him. Oh, Nisha jumping in onto mind control. Oh, the slap. Side lane creeps. Check this out. They're ganking the small cap. Now, where they go? What's the... Oh, wait, no, they don't know. Oh, it's a trap. Oh, it's a trap. Oh, Matsu, he wasn't ready for this. He didn't expect that one bit. Oh. This is what you get for leaving us, or we kicking you, whatever happened. GG, yeah. that's, that's what they've been waiting for. <laughs> that's all they wanted to do this game. <laughs> the trap was set. Oh, and the game is over.